and welcome to Leighton Buzzard Fire Station where we have two fire engines, this one and this one, which is known as 07 Papa 1 and 07 Papa 2. Now both of these fire engines are pretty much identical, laid out the same, so that firefighters day or night can know what is in every single locker and there's no confusion and we can get things off quickly and efficiently. Okay, moving over to starting off, this is where the driver will sit. So the driver's responsibility is to get us to and from the incident safely and he, is also, he or she is also in control of operating the lights and the sirens from up there on that dashboard. Next to the driver we have the OIC seat which stands for officer in charge. Uh, this will be either a crew commander or a watch manager or hire and their job is to run the entire incident. Uh, at their disposal they have what's called an MDT which stands for mobile data terminal. Uh, this will carry information such as maps of the area, how to get there, any information they might need, weather reports, uh, what kind of chemicals we might be facing while we're there, information such as uh, how to cut a car open on a particular make so that we know where the safety features are and the hazards. And they also have a radio here so they can contact control to update them with any information that they might need to. and the OIC, we can have up to four firefighters. So we can go out as a crew, maximum of six, with four firefighters in the back. Each seat has a BA set, and we would use those when we're going into smoky conditions where we're unable to breathe without, without them. This is one of the BA sets. Here, which will carry the mask and you wear that on your back like a rucksack and this is where your cylinder of air is along with your radio torch a, a gauge reading so that you'll know how much air that you have in there so the first locker on the rear side is what we call our RTC locker this stands for road traffic collisions on the bottom shelf we have all of our hydraulic cutting equipment. Um, this is the main generator used to pressurise the hydraulic oil. And then using the hoses that are stored here, we'll plug into these tools, which can do anything from spreading doors off to cutting roofs off of cars. We've also got a winch that we can use to um, move vehicles if needed. A ram that we can use to again spread vehicles apart, mainly like the dashboard area. Up here we carry eight road cones which is used to create a scene safety zone for all the firefighters to work in during an RTC. At night time we also lay these out, we carry six of these on each fire engine and this will warn other road users that there is an incident Inside ahead. Middle locker. In this locker we carry all of our small tools in the toolbox and also some drills in that box. We also carry some method of entry equipment which we use to gain access to properties. We also carry our trauma care bag. In here we have got oxygen packs, uh, a defibrator and bandages used to treat our casualties at incidents. This is the near side rear locker. In this locker is where we keep all of our lengths of hose and our hose reel. So this hose reel is used for most fires we go to, so house fires and also car fires and bonfires, things that don't require a large volume of water. These hoses here, they can be plugged into the pump bay at the rear of the pump and these are used for instance that require a large volume of water. Back of the fire engine we have what we call the pub locker, which would normally be operated by the driver at incidences and this is where we can control the flow rates of the water that we're giving. And he will do this by using these buttons here to increase or decrease the pressure. Once we've opened up this tank valve, the water that's inside the fire engine will then start to be being used, either through the large lengths of hose that we carry or through the hose reels that we've already shown you. Now the driver won't have long before we completely run out of water, so they will need to find a hydrant and plug into that as quickly as they can. On the rear of the appliance we carry four ladders. This one here is a roof ladder used to 
assist us when we're working on a roof. The big one in the middle here is a 13.5 metre ladder, which is used when we need to get to the third floor of the building. And this one here is a 9 metre ladder, which is used for second floor access. Also, a smaller ladder here, which is what we call a triple extension ladder, and this is used usually to get to the first floor, or also if we need to take individual sections into buildings to access the loft area. Very similar to the one we've just seen, you've got your lengths of hose here for your large volumes of water at a lower pressure, and another hose reel for this side as well, same as the other side. Uh, on this top shelf here we have our water rescue equipment, this will be used for when we need to enter canals or lakes to rescue someone that may well be in trouble. In this locker here, we have our lighting equipment, which will be used when we're at incidences in the night uh, or when the light is failing and we light up our scenes so that we can work in safety and see what we're doing. We also, following on from the water rescue from this locker, we also have some life jackets here that we can grab in a hurry. And among other things, up here is our home fire safety pack, which contains our smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarms, which when we visit, it, uh, when we visit houses, we can come and put them up for you to make sure that you're safe at home.